Greetings everybody. Life has no shortage of heroes and heroines. Today as the Mirror of Hope Foundation, we visit a special group of women. Women who have defied so many odds to remain standing where they are. Today, we invite you to meet the Creative Life Crafters. Hi everybody, my name is Waidera Gitu, founder member of Creative Life Craft. It was founded by two determined uh, community volunteers. We came together through self-help initiative after identifying the problems and many other challenges we faced when doing our home-based care work. The aim is to pull up to gather resources and ideas to overcome the hopelessness, despair never witnessed before due to HIV and AIDS, and its devastating effects on families, income, work, failing health, frequent hospitalization, leading to extreme poverty, vulnerability, and deprivation. Inzire pesa wana paya naga ni 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 mani saidi ya sababu ni na ongeza ga hizi vitu na ona apa ni na ongeza kwa hizi na nunua ushanga ni na shona hizi na ni na shona guo ata mtu akita kashat ama dress niweke niwe ni muweke kara za country yake ni tamuweke. Uh, Deborah Ziafos Davis introduced us to Mirror of Hope, whom we have been partnering with to, to make the livelihoods of women and children better. The businesses the women have been doing have so far succeeded and the caregivers are able to meet with basic needs some school fees, although it's a challenge to many, to many. Mimi ni mmoja wa kikudi hii, na nimesaidika kwa school fees, nimesaidika kwa biyasara, na pia tunategene, mimi ni mmoja wa kutegene za hizo beat. Na furahia kikudi hii, na furahia kwa mwenye na tusumamiria, na asanti mungu wa bariki. I was given 2,000 shillings, to start a small business during the, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. And since then, I've been carrying on the business and it is very successful. I thank whoever has been supportive to me and my family too. Through the business, I can be able to feed my family. I can be able to collect some amount and pay a little for the school fees for the uh, schooling children. So I thank the organization so much because of what they are doing. Through these businesses, the women joined the crafters and have learned very fast in making crafts and therefore have started earning some extra cash. That's why they are called the warriors. Thank you very much, Deborah Davis and all the friends in the US and in Kenya, who have continued to promote our handicraft. There are different ways through which we can put our mark to the world. As for the creative life crafters and the warriors, theirs is to use the beautiful gift of art to come up with creative arts and crafts that are able to sustain them and their families. We thank the Mirror of Hope Foundation for creating a platform through all these women are able to be supported. Until next time, stay safe and God bless you.